His vultures are in his base. So, wow. So, Spear is going to really just build, be running off one base right now. So, wow. Um, the aggressive opening for Spear does not pay off for him. He does absolutely nothing with his DTs and finds himself in some serious trouble. So, even the Kakaru, <laughs> he's even cheering. He's like, come on, probes, follow me. Follow me. I will lead you. And no one followed him as the Kakaru goes off screen. But, um, so, wow, so much damage done to Spear's base. Just, Spear is just in complete defense mode right now. As, uh, as Frozian's base is just running just fine. So, Spear is definitely in trouble right here. So, two more factors going up. So, wow, this is definitely looking horrible for, for, for Spear. There's just nothing he's going to be able to do about this. He went for a fast attack and his DTs did nothing. And Frozian went with a two-fact push and completely did, did so much damage to, uh, Spear and he, Spear is just not going to make up for it, and um, now the observatory is finally going up for Spear. So that's going to be way late because he went. He's going. He went for fast DTs and then into fast arbiters. But now he has dragoons out, so he will finally be able to defend against these um vultures. And now he will be able to get his natural back. So Spear is going to be able to save his natural. He's going to lose all those probes at his natural, but now he'll at least be able to get his natural back. But I, I'm definitely giving the upper edge to Frozian. 100% upper edge to Frozian because there's just nothing he can do. And um, also, Frozian did scout the Arbiter tr the Arbiter Tribunal, so um, he does know that uh, DTs are coming. I mean, not DTs, sorry. That Arbiters are coming. And while you can tell they're um, actually SCV sitting around, so you can tell what um, that they're lower and uh, pro level gamers, so... <laughs> it's kind of funny. But they're still great gamers, and they still play way competitively, and they're just getting going. Not too much experience under their belt, but I, they both show great potential. So in a little bit, I'm sure they'll both be um, decent players. So three gateways up for uh, Luxury. I mean, not Luxury, sorry, for Spear. I don't know why I said Luxury. I said Luxury because that's the last video I uh, did in commentary on, so sorry about that. So now the observer will see the push for um, Terran, or what Terran has, and now it's going to be like a contain. So t uh, Protoss cannot get himself contained right here. He gets himself contained, and this is definitely going to be GG. So he's got to be able to hold off these vultures. So he's okay. So nice job by Spear. He's going to push out, and I'll let the contain get too bad. But wow, the sea tanks are going to kill the dragoons, and Spear is just going to find himself in a horrible situation. But at least he's going to. Keep pushing out, but now these, as soon as these siege, siege, wow, it's too many siege tanks and all these mines are killing these goons, and I don't think there's anything Spear can do. He's doing a great goon micro. He loses two, three goons to mines, and now he's going to be able to scare off these siege tanks, but now there's more vultures, so even though Spear is kind of doing a nice job of holding this off, there's just nothing he can do. It's going to be GG in a little, in a couple minutes. There's just, Spear is just getting owned right here by Frozian. He went for a kind of fast expansion, kind of risky build. I mean, not fast expansion, fast tech. A uh, kind of risky build, and it didn't pay off for him today. And um, just too much harassment going on from Frozian. Frozian's doing a great job at it. And uh, I mean, Frozian's and now Frozian's getting some easy probe kills, but he's gonna lose the vultures. So, I mean, there are three vultures inside uh, Frozian's base, and he lays mines, so the dragoons will have to get back through the mines. And um, Spear is just. He is done. There's absolutely nothing Spear can do. And there's going to be GG any minute. Like, seriously, any second now, it's just going to be GG. Just Frozian is just dominating. He's losing goons to mines and so many probe kills for Frozian from the vultures. And it is GG any minute. There's absolutely nothing Spear can do. He is losing dragoons, too many dragoons to mines, and just wow. This is definitely hurting. And now Siege Tank, and oh my gosh. This is going to get ugly very quickly. And uh, Spear, he's a young player, and he sure doesn't want to GG. He's like, he's, he doesn't want to call it yet because he doesn't want to lose because he's a young gamer. And I understand, but there's just nothing he can do. His It was a risky build, and it didn't pay off for him. And um, it's completely unaffected. And there it is, GG. So, uh, Spear has left the game, so Frozian has won. Oh my gosh. Did you see that girl's face? I'm on the camera! 
<laughs> and then she hit her face. So uh, Frozen's got to be pleased with this play. Uh, he knew what he had to do, and he got it done. So um, do they not believe in high fives in Korea? I swear, I only see high tens. And now, as soon as I say that, he starts doing high fives. What the heck? I swear he heard me. <laughs> I think he heard me. Yeah, he did. <laughs> so um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, this was a game, a pro league game between Samsung Khan and the OG and Sparkies, and a matchup between Frozian and Spear. And Frozian has won the match. So thank you for watching, guys. And this is Sunday signing out. Thanks.